Hi, I'm Mitchell Spearman. I'm pleased to tell you that I'm at the beautiful Lake Nona Golf Club in Orlando, Florida, home to 18 tour players and the Tavistock Cup. So come with me and let's see if we can improve your game. I'm on the 15th hole here at Lake Nona Golf Club in Orlando, Florida. And I'm pleased to welcome Joe Jung from EJL Custom Golf. Yes. Joe, you. welcome. Joe, get your clubs fitted for you. I fix the swing. It's a combination. That's Joe, correct. there's a lot of information out there. There's a lot of golf clubs to choose from. Where yes. do we start? Well, if we're talking about drivers, uh, you could probably start with higher lofts. Okay. Uh, most amateurs today will automatically go for lower lofts to try and get more distance. And what inevitably happens is they don't hit the ball high enough, it doesn't carry far enough, and as a co consequence they're unhappy with the performance of the driver. You, you're right, it does start with drivers, that's what everyone I teach, they yeah. all want to hit their ball a little bit further, and they right. think two things, they think less loft and they think longer clubs. That's not necessarily the case. What we try to do now is we try and keep the ball airborne for a longer period of time. Okay. Uh, and in the past, a lot of people are coming out of the experience having clubs that produce a lot of spin, older persimmon clubs like yep. when you started to play, yep. and golf balls like Bellata wound golf mm -hmm. balls that produced a lot of spin. Well, I still today, got a few at home, yeah. Yeah, do you? <laughs> Time to get replace them. Yeah. Uh, it's so the new clubs now are producing a lot higher launch, a lot lower spin, and the new urethane golf ball over the last 10 years right. uh, produces a lot less spin off of a driver. So what happens is when you go with your traditional lofts like eight and a half or nine and a half, the ball tends to fall out of the sky right. and you don't get the carry that you need. Right. So it's counterintuitive to believe you need more loft to hit it further because as we go through the bag, we're going down in loft and we get to the driver, we're saying get that ball launched up into the air. That's exactly right okay. because the new golf balls that uh, we have available today, the Titleist Pro V and the Nike ball and whatnot, they have a urethane cover and they produce very little spin off of a driver. Right. A lot less spin than you would produce in a ratio perspective with a wedge. So it's a multifaceted ball. It, it, exactly it's all components right. of the game. That's right, exactly fantastic. right. All right, well that, that's, that's very helpful. I can now understand that I need to not go for a longer driver. Yes. I can understand that I need that little bit more loft. So the bit in the middle is this thing called the shaft, yes. referred to as the engine of the swing. That's correct. They're all different weights. They're much lighter than when I started playing. That's right. Tell me where one should look for the shaft. Well, generally manufacturers want to put the lightest weight they can into a shaft. Okay. And, and that allows them to make the club as long as they can. Okay. Which produces probably the higher head speeds. But head speed is not the holy grail off a tee. It's so really it's not club head speed anymore. No. That's not the only thing we need. That's exactly okay. right. It's right. ball speed. So club head right. is important only as it relates to ball speed. Okay. Right. So it is possible that you get a longer, lighter club right. that will produce a higher head speed, yep. but the ball speed will come down. So I know that the amateur golfer, the good one, right. the good player, will have 100 miles an hour, an hour of club head speed. That's what sort of ball speed should he expect to get? Well, you know, a very efficient swing is about 50% more. So if you're, if you're producing 100 miles an hour club head speed, you want about 150 ball speed. Okay. But it's quite possible if we get a club that's too long, customers hitting it off center, the club head speed will go up, but the ball speed will drop. Okay, so hitting it off the center, that's what I heard you say. So off we've center. got to hit it there. There's that's this right. thing called MOI. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, MOI is moment of inertia. And what that means is the manufacturers put the weight of the club, or most of it, back away from the face. Okay. And the further back they pull the weight, yeah. the more stable the club becomes. Okay. So that you can strike it on the heel or on the toe, okay. and the club won't move as much or twist at impact. Okay. So straighter shots. Straighter shots. Straighter correct. shots. And the closer to the middle of the face, the higher the ball speed? That's correct. As the ball moves away from the sweet spot, okay. ball speeds drop. Okay. So it's important to get a club that's the correct weight yep. and the correct length okay. so that a player can easily hit the center of the face repeatedly. Okay, so I think I'm understanding the club face. You want to hit it out the center, and yes. if you don't hit it out the center, you're not going to lose too much direction. You're probably going to lose a little bit in distance. That's correct. Uh, we've talked about the weight of the shaft. Yes. Just tell me a little about the flex of the shaft. Should the flex be here? Should the flex be here? Should it be flexible or should it be stiff? If you have a player that is hurting on ball speed and really needs to hit the ball a little further, maybe a little softer shaft is the key. Okay, softer means more flexible. More okay. flexible, that's a, correct. A nice way to say it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Maybe uh, you have a player who hits the ball too low. Okay. Well, we can have shafts here that are more flexible in the tip only, so they have a little bit more active tip to get the ball up, increase your launch angle, and increase your backspin rate. Okay, 
So I think I'm starting to understand what you're saying. It becomes that the generation has changed because of the golf ball. We've got a That's new right. modern multifacet ball. That's Therefore, correct. we want to launch this thing higher. That's right. We want to get it up in the air. We want to take advantage of these big faces yes. because we're obviously giving it a good whack, but we don't have to necessarily hit it out the center to hit it straight, but out of the center to get our distance. That's correct. We want to get a shaft that fits our swing speed mm -hmm. and the profile of our shots. And if we do that, That's we're going right. to be longer, we're going to be straighter. That's correct. And just because a manufacturer says a 45 inch shaft is good, okay. maybe consider something shorter for some players. Okay. And you can easily determine that by putting a little piece of face tape across the face of the club okay. and hitting it. And if you repeatedly get shots on the heel, the club may be too long okay. or even too heavy. Okay. If you get repeated shots on the toe, the club could be too short or too light. Okay. So See, I grew up in the era, all I did was look at T-marks. So you're saying we can now put paper on the face? That's the, on correct. The oh, wow. Now, okay. back in your day, yeah. uh, we didn't pay attention to this because all the drivers were the same length, 43 and a half inches, okay. and they all had 135 gram dynamic gold shafts in it. So the weight was not as important as it is today. We basically fit for lie angle and flex. Today, we fit for weight because we have a selection of weights and drivers from 45, 50 grams all the way up to 110. Well, you've heard it from Joe. There's a lot of technology out there and you can take advantage of it. Look to be hitting the ball out the middle of the club face is a great place to start. Yes. Get a little bit more loft on your driver. That's right. Try and get the right shaft flex for yourself. And if you do that, longer drives, higher trajectory drives, and you're gonna be taking advantage of what's out there in the marketplace today.